Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2001 Islander by National RV. So uh, without getting into a lengthy conversation about it, this is one of those RVs that basically has everything. It has the good air conditioners, it has the good generator, it has a good chassis, the Dynamax 32,000 pound chassis, um, just options after options all the way through it. And it's a very good condition coach. The previous owners took good care of it and they regularly used it. So let's take a look around it. Probably the biggest issue with this Islander, it's really not an issue, but just the paint is faded, the lower paint. Uh, but the sidewall looks good, super strong, solid sidewall. The awning, uh, we've had it out, it looks beautiful. It's in great shape. It's uh, uh, got the metal wrap and it's um, a canvas awning. So uh, in here you've got these big giant slide out trays, two of them. So all kinds of cool options. Uh, real cool things that Islander did was like triple filter system, very professionally done. Actually, if we get the camera in here and look, this Dynamax chassis is called a semi monocoque design. And um, if, you, if you read up on that, it's just one of the best handling, stiffest designs in the industry. It's just a, a very desirable setup. Country Coach uses this uh, chassis too. Okay, right here, centrally located in the coach, you've got the two super large holding tanks and your fresh water tank. So all your heavy water system is located right here, low and center. Uh, this coach handles incredible. Okay, the tires on this coach, I would say, are uh, got some light dry rot, and it looks like the tread's only got about one-third left. So I would say, technically, they need to be replaced, but the previous owner used this coach all last summer, did a bunch of traveling, had no issues with them. They're definitely heavy-duty tires. Um, new, these batteries were replaced in 2013 and the other ones in 2014. So I don't know if you ever bought batteries for a diesel pusher. They're very expensive. That's a very nice thing to have new batteries like that. Uh, again, another representation of a great quality design. The air cleaner intake's just nice and solid and it's sealed to the outside. Your filters, like your water, your uh, fuel filter, uh, water separators are all right here. Easy access. <clears throat> Okay, this coach is a side radiator design, which again is a very desirable setup. So this is so nice. Um, you can open up this hatch, access right to the engine, the radiator's not in the way, the belts, everything that's serviceable on this coach is accessible very easy. Okay, again, just the, the condition looks good. I don't see any major damage. Um, this is the dump station. so. That's where you can take care of all your holding tank and water stuff. And great pass-through storage. The slide design on these Nationals is uh, hydraulic and it runs on a rack. It just should be a, a lifetime design. Uh, also, this coach came from the factory with these aluminum wheels. It's another high-end option. Uh, behind here is the generator. So this whole unit uh, pushes out and there's access to the generator. It's all electronically controlled. Uh, I looked at the windshields. Both pieces of glass look good. I don't see any cracks or chips. Okay, this coach is missing the grab handle. Okay, probably um, the first thing I should point out before we go any further, probably the worst issue in this coach overall, which is minor, is just this big stain in the carpet, which I would assume is from some previous leakage. But at the moment, this coach has just gone through a bunch of rainstorms here, and it doesn't, doesn't, uh, it's not wet at all. So it does not appear to be leaking when the slide's in or out. Uh, okay, also this door um, fell off and because the hinge broke. So we've just got the hinge on order, so that'll be fixed. Uh, there's also a DVD player, and the previous owner put a flat screen TV in here, so that's really cool. Okay, the interior design is sofa and dinette. Lots and lots of these diesel pushers were made with freestanding dinettes, very few with a booth that can function as a bed. So that's just a very desirable setup, or it's rare, I should say. Uh, this is just 
also unique where you just have a ton of counter space here. Lots of counter space. Got a convection, residential style microwave, nice double sink, coffee maker, can opener. Oh yeah, and another thing about the National, all this wood, these styles and rails, this is all made out of real wood. Most products produced today, none of this is real wood. It's all just um, vinyl wrapped wallpaper. So it's a really cool design. In the refrigerator, super clean, and it, and it comes with an ice maker. So of course, big double door fridge, got all the good stuff. And got a washer dryer here. Lots of storage, big giant closet. And in the bedroom, you've got a full walk around queen bed, nice closet storage on each side. And then uh, also there is an additional flat screen that comes with this coach. So you got one for the bedroom. You know, just lots, I can't mention all the little touches that are done on this coach. It's done so nicely, but even this, like the doors, these lock, the camera can't see it, but these lock securely when this thing's in transit. Um, <clears throat> in the toilet area, this is nice that this is just, you know, one room by itself. So uh, you've got an exhaust fan in there. You've got a nice porcelain toilet with a ball valve. And then you've also got this water saver. So again, just a high-end, all the options type design. Now this is pretty much over the top. Rarely do you see an RV with such a large shower in it. Just huge, all kinds of space. I'm 5'11", I got plenty of height in here, so let's go take this for a drive. All right, before we take the uh, Islander for a cruise, I just wanted to point out a couple cool features about it. Uh, this coach is on a 32,000 pound Dynamax chassis. So the Dynamax chassis is very desirable based on a couple factors. Um, one, it has a 10,000 pound tow capacity, and number two, it has independent front suspension. So it's a really smooth ride, and that, that allows the manufacturer to create this coach which, with what's called a 50 degree wheel cut. So when you turn the wheels all the way, um, it literally feels like you're moving sideways. And this coach, uh, for a 40 footer, turns around in a very tight circle. Uh, a couple other features are, this coach has an 8.3 liter Cummins, so it's a very powerful engine. It has a six speed Allison transmission, and it also has, uh, uh, the air suspension can be lowered. So it's not all diesels have that. It's kind of cool, so you can flip a switch and this thing will lower down to the ground. So let's go take it for a drive. I'm going to get on the entrance ramp to the highway here, and I'm basically just going to give it full power and just show you what it's got. So here we go. I can tell you right now, this coach really moves out fast. You can tell it's got a ton of power. Now, of course, a big diesel pusher is not like uh, you're going to win any drag races with it, but when you get these coaches out in the mountains or, or real heavy side winds, uh, a real heavy duty chassis like this is definitely going to shine. So there's 60 miles an hour, no problem. And right now it is a pretty windy day, and I can feel that the coach is very stable, very straight. Uh, feels very smooth, so whoever wins this coach is going to love it. 